Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Coleman, and this is What's Your Passion number 33. And today we're talking about loyalty. Everyone talks about it. Executives really want it, but few people can really create loyalty. The kind of loyalty where the person's willing to throw themselves under the bus kind of loyalty for the team. If <clears throat> you want to learn how to do that, it's the topic of today's blog post. We do an in-depth example uh, with Bob Geist. Thanks and kudos to Bob for sharing that. And it's an example of a team and team member's loyalty that left an executive not only shocked and stunned, but wanting to know more about we how we did that. In fact, he sent his team members in the very next day to ask, how did you guys do that? And after Bob and I shared with them, well, you know, it's in the book. Uh, suddenly all the copies of our book flow, get everybody in, moving in the right direction and loving it. Suddenly all those copies just disappeared out of our team room. It was pretty interesting to watch. But a couple of the key things for loyalty is the 4R model and understanding where people are coming from, helping them to align their personal vision and their individual spirit with the team's vision and the team's spirit. And we also look at this also through the lenses of culture with vision, mission, purpose, core values, attitudes, strategies, goals, and objectives. All of those have to line up if you're gonna have any hope of creating loyalty. And I think loyalty is just another way of talking about trust. But I think loyalty goes deeper than trust because uh, it's just, it invokes a feeling and passion that goes, I think, a little bit deeper than trust. This has been What's Your Passion, number 33, on loyalty. My name is Andrew Coleman, and we'll chat again soon.